it's Kyle, and today I'll be reviewing Sweetly by Jackson Pierce. I'm sure most of, um, of the viewers of this channel have already seen the video I posted a few days ago, but in case you didn't, I'm going to mention it again. I had a chance to attend the book release party for Sweetly um, that Jackson Pierce was um, attended and was the feature speaker at, um, at a bookstore in Alpharetta, Georgia, so I was very excited for that chance. Um, so I'll, I'll link that video below. It'll, um, you'll get a chance there to hear about Jackson Pierce talk about um, where she came up with the idea of Sweetly, the process of writing it, and some a lot of other um, interesting items. So I encourage you to check that video out because that will give you a lot of insight into um, Sweetly. Read this book very, very quickly once I was able to get started. I've kind of been busy with work, so it took me a little bit of time to make time to finally start it. But once I did, I got it done in a day or so. Um, great book. Quick read, very interesting. Sweetly is an awesome book. I encourage you to go get it. Um, the main characters are Gretchen and Ansel, uh, the brother and sister. Basically, um, they had a childhood trauma that happened. Um, Gretchen had a twin sister, and um, with her twin sister and her brother were out in the woods when they were little kids playing around with something, and a tragedy happens. Um, something attacks them that at the time they think is a witch, and the twin sister of Gretchen uh, goes missing, has disappeared, and no one knows what happens. Um, most people, you know, assume she is dead, but they don't really know for sure. It's a complete mystery, and it really impacts both their lives tremendously. It shapes their personalities, uh, just drags them down, uh, burdens them. They feel this entire time, you know, why did this one sibling go missing and the other two were able to make it out? Um, it impacted them so much that um, when they get older, when they're 18 and 19 years old, they leave home. They um, flee. They're kind of kicked out by their stepmom, but you get the feeling that they felt the need to leave as well and just start over somewhere new. All this is happening in the state of Washington, so I think they decided to try to get as far away from that as humanly possible. So they are heading to a beach town in South Carolina. Right before they get to the beach town in South Carolina, um, their vehicle breaks down on the interstate and kind of strands them on a, in a small town in um, the rural part of South Carolina, a couple hours from the beach. They're basically out of money, um, so they kind of have to stay in the town and do some odd jobs until they save up enough money to fix their vehicle and then they can make it to their destination, the South Carolina beach. But that is where things start to um, get really, really interesting. As um, stuff starts happening in this town, that really begins to, uh, I guess you could say, freak Gretchen out. At the same time, Gretchen's beginning to kind of grow as a person. Um, she lived a very sheltered life because of what happened to her twin sister, and she begins to kind of branch out and um, do stuff she's never done before. She She's learning to explore the world and trying to battle her fear. All this is um, happening um, while her and her brother have kind of started living with a candy maker in this small town. She's the one that kind of takes him in. And her brother does odds and ends jobs around that, her house, fixing it up. Um, they become best friends. Uh, the candy maker starts dating um, Ansel. Gretchen becomes her best friend, and they really start to think they're finally putting this family tragedy behind them. And one thing that helps them do this is the candy maker um, had had a tragedy in her own life, so that kind of helps them bond and stuff. But while this is going on, um, Gretchen begins to notice weird things going on in this town. Um, teenage girls just have a tendency of going missing. Um, the townsfolk believe that girls are just fleeing town and trying to make a life for themselves outside of this small town because the town is kind of dying. Um, but Gretchen begins to wonder if something a little more um, evil is taking place. And that is the basic plot of what's going on in Sweetly. I won't get into any more because if I do, I'll start ruining um, plot points. The one thing I'll say that I really enjoyed about this book, I thought um, Jackson Pierce did an amazing job of showing um, character development, especially in the main character, Gretchen. You really see her grow as a person and really battle her fears. She begins to overcome it. Um, so many times it's really hard to show character growth like that in a, in a character in a book, especially um, a standalone book. Where it's not like you're doing that kind of development over four or five books. You're doing it over um, this book's around 300 pages, so it's kind of hard to actually show that and make it seem natural, and not like the author is forcing that change in the character to go really quick for the sake of the story. 
The characters change is all very believable. You understand how she's beginning to battle her fear and overcome it, how she's growing in as a person. Jack Spears, like I said, does an excellent job in this area, and I thought that was probably the strongest point of that book, which is great because Gretchen is the person you're hearing the story through, her point of view. She's the narrator. Um, so since you're beginning to become so attached to this character and really enjoying the improvement she's making in her own life, it really is great that you're then getting to hear the story from her point of view. So I really love that aspect of the book. The other aspect of this book that I absolutely loved, very early on in the book it becomes apparent that there is some secret in this town and they, Gretchen figures out there's something she doesn't know and she can't figure out what it is so she spends most of the book trying to discover what the secret is. And it's not until the very, very end of the book that you finally unravel what the secret is. What I liked about this is sometimes when books try to do that, the secret they're trying to hide is just too obvious. And, you know, you guess the secret on page 40, but the characters in the book don't guess it until, you know, page 300. And it just becomes frustrating because you think, well, how stupid are the characters are that they couldn't discover this secret? Other times, the secret is so random that there is no way the reader could have ever guessed it and you feel like well they're just trying to make it so obscure the secret that really there was no chance for anybody to guess it and you were just messing with us and it just really deflates the trying to figure out what was going to happen. Jackson Pierce kind of walks a great line with the secret in this book is she keeps on dropping hints throughout the book and it's enough that you feel like I should be able to figure out what the secret is I just can't but I think I should be able to figure it out. But she just keeps enough information from you to keep on reading. Well, I'm sure in you know, the next page I'll be able to figure it out. Oh, Ten pages from now, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. And she just keeps on giving you these little breadcrumbs of the secret to help you figure out, to make you think you're fixing to figure it out, but then she drops another breadcrumb. And you have to keep on reading and try to figure out what the secret is. And eventually, right at the end of the book, you find it out and it's a great payoff. You don't feel like it was stupid or a corny um, plot point. It's a great secret. It really helps tie the book together. Felt that helped make this a very awesome book. Um, so probably for the growth of the main character, Gretchen, and this um, secret within the book that you're trying to discover as a reader, I think that really helped make Sweetly an awesome book. Um, Sweetly is a companion book to Jackson Pierce's last book, Sisters Red. So it's taking place in the same world as Sisters Red. It's not a true sequel, but it's just taking place in the same reality. Um, there will be another book in this one, um, this uh, kind of universe that Jackson Pierce has created. They're all based on different fairy tales. Uh, Sisters Red was based on Little Red Riding Hood. Um, this one was um, Hands on um, Gretel. Sorry. And the next one, I believe, is going to be based on The Little Mermaid. Uh, but they're all just kind of inspired by that. They're not really following the storyline, it's just kind of, that's the inspiration for them. So this is Sweetly a great book. Go to your local bookstore, get it. Um, also, like to remind you, check out the video below of the book release party with Jackson Pierce. Jackson Pierce is a great speaker, so if she's ever appearing at an event near where you live, I would strongly encourage you to go um, to the event, because she's very interesting, very funny, great speaker, uh, great author, plus she's kind of hot, so I mean, to lose with going to see a Jackson Pierce event. So, Sweetly by Jackson Pierce, go get it.